Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today I want to discuss how I personally view my YouTube stats and in general. Um, I actually, I think I was not awake earlier when I made the comment of thanking the fans for getting me to 2.8 thousand total views. That is a huge milestone. 3k would be even more and then 5k would be even greater achievement. Small steps, baby steps, that is how one grows. And now into the meat. There's like two sides of me. This is side one. The views are important. Comments would be even more when they are not written by trolls. Comments from fans who enjoy the content you produce. That is always going to be important to the creator. Just my opinion, I could be wrong. Sub count is a little bit lenient, less so in my opinion right now because people unfollow or they are just bots who are not real people who wants your stuff. Because I have now I hit 61 subs again, even though I lost 4, and most of them are, I believe, are bots because they say nothing. I don't know if they even watch. I know a few people do. However, 61 people every single time on my videos, that has never happened, sadly. It's always under 10 or so. So that's why I said sub count can be a little bit lenient because you could be dealing with bots or people who do not have access to the password, etc. For me, I use my sub, sub account to watch my main. So that's a thing. And I've done it on other YouTubers that I follow. I have like, uh, I forget how many accounts I have, but I sometimes followed one person like three different times on three separate YouTube channels. So that's the thing. YouTube and Twitch both say, or I have heard, if you want to grow, you need to increase your watts count. Your watts time as much as possible. That way more people can find you easier. I think the more views you have, the higher you are on search lists. I don't know how that works. I believe the more count, you could be on number one search. I don't know. That's why I kind of said the view count is also very important. Watch time is also important. For me, the more views I have, the better chance of being found. As I get even more people subbing to me, the more views I have, which goes hand in hand with each other. In the end, the views and sub count go hand in hand. For right now, I care more about being found through the watch count, which will ultimately lead, which will ultimately lead to having new subs and a bigger sub count. I speak like this because I know some big YouTubers think they are above their fans, their sub count. Oh, look at me, I have 5 billion people watching me, I am a big shot. No, I'm not like that at all. This is why I talk like I don't care about my sub count. I notice comments 
more, especially when they are not trolling me. This is side one. Because there's two sides of me. One says all about the view count, the other says a, a different story. What is, if not the most important aspect of any creator is, are you happy with the content you produce? If you answered yes, you are doing something right. If not, find what speaks to your heart and pursue it. What? Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I apologize for being cut off in the previous video, however, I am not going to restart. So I will just put these into two parts. We are on side two of how I view my stats, personally. Keywords to live by. Are you happy with the content you produce? If yes, you're doing something right. The more watch time you have, the better chance of being found by new people. I believe the more view count you have, the higher you are on the search results. I could be mistaken. Comments are even more important when they are not written by trolls. Loyal fans who want, they are the most important people of all. It all depends on how you view your stats. Having the right people follow me for the right reason is awesome. Like. This person said, the good people will, will find me over time. Making content I enjoy is at my core. Love what you're doing and continue onwards to greatness. The view time is last on the list, but the total count shows I am onto something here, I would hope. Either way, the growth I have is what matters and makes me happy to see my videos are being found and watched by people. Comments make me even happier when they are written not by the trolls. You have two sides, either you only care about how many people you have subbed to you, which also includes the view count, or you care about the quality of the content you produce. For me, it's a little bit of both. Total view count shows I am onto something here. The passion should shine through. However, the most important thing is what makes me happy? Do I have the heart in the content I produce? And that is why I have changed throughout this year. From following Alistair Crowley, Book of the Law, to saying I am not a Thelema mite anymore, I rose above it, to I am still a light worker even though 
my heart was crossed. You go through many stages as you progress, as you level up. And for me, you can go backwards as well, commonly known as dark night of the soul. For me, if my heart is in it, I am doing something right, even if that means in the future, that content I made, I don't have the heart to make it anymore. The point was, I made it with heart, even though later in life, I completely changed my viewpoint or whatever it was. So without the fans, I would not be here. Because with that said, I say it like that because it is true. Without the viewers tuning in, why continue to make that content if no one is watching you? However, since I am so small, only around 60 subs, I continue to post forward even if I feel like no one cares. So I, again, two sides of that. You have low self-esteem or you post forward. For me, it's post forward, even though I have low self-esteem towards, oh my god, I have no one watching. The point is, make content you enjoy, the people will follow. And that is what I am trying to say in both of these parts. I know some people will feel like no one is watching me, why should I continue? I was though. I was. And it stunted my growth for a long time until I got over that hump. I got over that obstacle and now I don't really care as much, even though it's still in the back of my mind. It's not as though as noticeable. I am getting over that. And that is the point. Do what makes you happy. The people will follow. Get over, oh my god, no one is here. Should I continue? Continue. Do what makes you happy. And soon people will find you. For me, as always, I make content, but no one notices. That's how I felt for my artwork for a long time, because it was not getting any attention. However, I still produce it. I still produce even though no one cares about it. For me, the satisfaction is when people like, comment, and ultimately subscribe, follow, fave, whatever. It shows, in the end, the more people who give you attention, no, that's not even, no, my brain's dulled. Um, the satisfaction is when people start to notice you or to fave whatever you make. It's like, um, okay, if I was a chef and someone is eating my food and liking it, that is satisfaction. Kind of the same principle. If no one likes your food, you must be doing something wrong. 
kind of the same meaning or how I feel when no one notices what I was producing five years ago. I am over that now. It's always about quality over quantity. Speak from the heart, speak from the soul. Everything else will follow. I thank you for your time and until we meet again.